over this cruel grey sea, I think to myself, how can I pay my penance to the people of Bournemouth, to the fans of Bournemouth, to all those Cherries fans? Look what I've done. I've besmirched their character. I said they'd never get here to the pinnacle of English football. They've got here. I said I would throw myself into this cruel grey sea. So, as you can see, Mike didn't quite make it off the pier, no. but he has, he has been trying to make it up to us. Mike, tell us what the past year or so has been like since you made that tweet. Well, the point is that it was a rash um, claim in the first place. You know, I mean, I come from a town called Chester. We, we had a ramshackle football club 30 years ago, like you did, but yours has now become a magnificent football club, and you've outstripped all expectations. I didn't think you'd do it. And I said that because I thought the depth of the squad, I thought the money that's needed to keep a team uh, on the promotion trail from the Championship to the Premier League, I didn't think you'd sustain it. You've got a brilliant manager, a brilliant club, it's a brilliant town, you did it, so I'm now here to pay my dues. And there's a lot of former fans in here that I believe have been keeping in touch with you, shall we say, on Twitter. They wanted you to jump off that pier, didn't they? They did want me to jump off the pier, and actually I would have jumped off the pier. Seriously, I would have done it. You know, if you make a statement like that, you've actually got to do it, otherwise you lose your credibility. I blame the Bournemouth Council, I blame the brigade who go on about health and safety all the time, I blame the chap who built the net around the edge of the Bournemouth pier, because if I'd have thrown myself off and got caught in the net, I'd have brought the pier down, without a shadow of a doubt. Look at me. So in the end, I decided to do it the way that business does it and monetarily try and repair the damage. And of course, the way that Mike has repaired the damage, which we're very grateful for, is by offering £500 to Julia's House, a charity which Eddie Howe is paid for. But it's not actually now going to be £500, is it? No, it's not. If I get this cheque out of my pocket here, and I'm so delighted to be able to hand it over, I thought I was going to get it with 500 quid, and then what happened was, I was on the TalkSport breakfast show yesterday with my old pal Alan Brazil, you know, a man who I thought would be on my side, and he said, so Porky, how are you going to put the damage right? I said, Al, it's all right. I said, Julia's House is a magnificent charity down there, and I'm going to give them a cheque for £500. He said, you miserable git. Can you not afford a thousand pounds? I said, uh, 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 uh. There's three million people listening. What do you think I had to say? Oh, okay, I'll, yeah. He rang me after the show and said, Porky, ha, ha, sorry about that, pal. I'll buy you lunch. Well, I've known the guy for 15 years and he's never bought me a drink, so I'll be waiting for the lunch. Well, it's a fantastic donation, and we're all very grateful. And I've actually got Ian Wadley here with me. Um, off to his house, and I think he wants to say a few words tonight. Uh, yes, I'd like to say a few words to you, and now we've got your partner here, and 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 we've got your partner here, and